Amazingly, it's now been 40 years since Nissan's original Z car, the 240, arrived on UK roads. And to celebrate, the Japanese firm has launched this, a tarted up version of its current muscle car, the 370. Dubbed the GT edition, the newcomer shouldn't be too hard to spot out on the road. It's got this eye-catching pair of grey stripes down either side of the body, and those gorgeous 19-inch raised alloy wheels have been darkened for that extra look of menace. On the inside, not much has changed. There's a rear parking camera, which will come in handy in a car this wide at the back. And also the seven speed automatic gearbox now comes with a snow mode to keep you out of the hedgerows on icy days in the winter. But I know what you're probably thinking. 35 grand is an awful lot of money to pay for something that's just been given a set of stripes and some extra kit. But don't worry, Nissan's European engineers have gone through it with a fine tooth comb, retuning the suspension and adding extra underfloor insulation to keep it quieter on the motorway. But do these changes add up to a big difference on the track? Let's go and find out. We were lucky enough to test the GT on the road and round a test circuit, but it's on the public highways that the tweaks made to the Z chassis have their biggest impact. GT Edition's ride might still be firm, but the harshness of the standard car is gone, and it jolts and fidgets much less than before, and is much more forgiving over broken surfaces too. The booming tyre rumble has been banished, and on the motorway at least, the 370Z starts to feel a bit more like a relaxed cruiser than a hard-edged track special. But make no mistake, round a circuit it's still a properly uncompromising sports car. Power delivery from the 3.7 litre V6 is brutal, and the heavy clutch and meaty steering turn driving on demanding roads into something of a workout. It's also not as tail happy as you might expect, as the huge levels of grip from the rear tyres mean that you have to seriously provoke it before the back begins to step out. Even so, the GT Edition tackles faster turns with greater assurance than ever. There's noticeably less kickback from the steering during mid-corner bumps, and the added composure gives you the confidence to use all 324 brake horsepower. Despite all this, the changes can't fix the Z's biggest problem, that engine. Despite the muscular performance, the 370 never comes close to sounding as good as it looks, and the coarse engine note makes it a hard car to fall for, even if it does handle better than ever. Now as we've seen, the changes made don't exactly make the GT and GT Edition stand for Grand Tourer, but it certainly is a more rounded sports car overall, and it could be the best version of the 370 yet. Happy 40th anniversary indeed.